hi guys welcome to new lesson in this lesson i am going to tell you what is the machine learning in fact i am going to start a new video series on the machine learning so in this video i'll be discussing about the machine learning and in the next video i'll be discussing about the supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning algorithm uh, some of the slides in this presentation has been adopted from the professor david kochak uh, presentation so uh, the sum credit also goes to the professor David Koshak. Let's say start a machine learning introduction. So the moreover, if we break this machine learning into the block diagram and into the simple term, what we can say that machine learning is about to predicting the future based on the past. How we do it? Let's say we have a data, we acquire a data or we have already data. Then we do some data cleaning. The data cleaning and the feature selection, the feature engineering is essential part of a machine learning. Then we train the, our algorithms or model with the training uh, set of the data. And then finally we test the model. And if we don't get the desired accuracy, then again we adjust our model parameter. And then again we retrain our model and we keep doing unless and until we get our desired accuracy or model gets overfit. Once we train and the test our data, then we evaluate our model also from a testing data. Okay. And from other data, which is a, which is unseen data to your model. And once you have evaluated your model, we have tuned each and every hyperparameters in your machine learning model. After that, you deploy this model into an application, right? Great. Now let's go ahead. Now let me tell you, you might have heard about a lot about the artificial intelligence, machine learning and the deep learning. Do you know the, what is the difference between these three terms? Artificial intelligence is a technique which enables machines to, hu to mimic a human behavior. In artificial intelligence, any system works based on the true and the false and it gets there is an agent where we give a number to the agents. Either we um, uh, penalize it or we um, give a bonus to an agent. Let's say if agent predict true, Okay, that's mean if agent predict a right outcome, then we give some plus number, let's say the plus five. Um, and if model predicts wrong or a false outcome, then we give them negative numbering. So in this way, in artificial intelligence, our machine or a model or an agent learn what is the right and what is wrong. And in artificial intelligence, a machine or a model tend to behave like a human, okay, like we learn. But in the machine learning, it is a subset of artificial intelligence in which statistical methods are used to train the machine based on the past experience. And in the machine learning or any algorithm which are trained using machine learning algorithms can only predict those subset of the data, those subset uh, of the outcome on which it is trained. Let's say if a machine is trained on only predicting a fruit and the vegetable, then that machine will only learn fruits and the vegetable. Okay. And if you put something to detect, let's say uh, animal or a human, that machine learning algorithm will not be able to detect that. But in artificial intelligence, initially that might, uh, uh, might that that might get a false result. But after some time, artificial intelligence enabled model will be able to learn those things. And in the deep learning, it is a subset of the machine learning that do the computation in a multi-layer neural networks, and the deep learning techniques and this algorithm mimics human brain neurons. Our human brain have a millions of the million neurons. And in the deep learning, 
we do the same thing okay we mimic in the deep learning algorithms we mimic the functioning of our brain neurons in those algorithms i am sure this this should have cleared your uh, doubts regarding the artificial intelligence machine learning and the deep learning and then let's say we have a classical machine learning and deep learning okay so here if you come into the machine learning then there is the two model one is the deep learning and another one is classical machine learning so in this video we first learn about the classical machine learning okay so in the even the classical machine learning and the deep learning there are two type of the learning supervised learning and unsupervised learning in a supervised learning data is already pre categorized but in supervised unsupervised learning data is not labeled in any way supervised have a two branch classification and the regression a classification means let's say you have a subset a set of the data and you want to divide into the two part a subset of the data okay let's say here we have apple and here another fruit so in classification we can do i mean we can classify in a finite number of classes but in a regression we don't do the classification but in regression we do the fitting it's like curve fitting right so we can say the regression is continuous and regression or a regressor value can take up to infinite number of output values but in a classification there is a fixed subset of the output okay So that's when the classification is a discrete or a categorical classification, but in the regression, the regression is a continuous prediction. Okay, so let's say if we have any continuous value to predict, there we need to use a regression. But where there is some set of the prediction, then we can use a classification. But what about the unsupervised machine learning? In unsupervised, we have three classes: clustering, dimension reduction, and the association. in unsupervised we don't have any label to the data okay that's mean we take a set of the data and we then find out the similarity in between those subsets and once we find out the similarity in between those subsets then we say that okay this is a cluster a this is cluster b and this is a cluster c okay and in the same way let's say you have a data which is a, uh, which is having a huge dimension like a gene classification or the dna etc okay the data dimension is huge or the too large then we can first reduce the dimension we can do like clustering we can cluster multiple dimensions together so we can reduce the dimensions and then we can do a further processing on the reduced dimension data right and we can do also the association association means let's say we have been doing something okay and then there is something else which is also showing a similar property okay like here it is saying that what clothes i often wear together okay so this is like a association means we are mixing two things together like if you are uh, uh, having a beer or a drink then there has to be some chips or etc so that is the association so with the beer the algorithm will associate the chips right let's say if you buy a mobile on amazon or ebay then in suggestion it comes that there is a cover okay or a screen guard protector or a glass protector right so these things are the association how it do it find out that the association with the mobile there is new mobile bought and the people has been bought has been buying uh the covers and the glass protections and the screen cover etc with the new mobile so that is how it associate the different things together we can understand this into a more broader way let's say here we have a machine learning then we can divide it into the three parts unsupervised learning and then supervised learning then reinforcement learning so we can say the reinforcement learning is a kind of uh, is a kind of part of the ai where machine automatically learn the things in the supervised we have two main parts like regression and the classification 
and the example of the classification is like identity fraud detection image classification customer retention and diagnostic in a regression like advertisement advertising popularity predictions weather forecasting market forecasting estimating life expectancy population growth prediction etc so these if you see these examples can take in finite number of values but these examples can take only some finite set of values so that is what is difference between classification and regression but in unsupervised learning broadly we can say the dimensionality reductions and clustering in dimension reduction we can say feature uh, removal okay let's say there are so many number of features so we can mix uh, the group of features together so that the dimension of the data can be reduced okay a structure discovery let's say you have a data and then we can discover a structure into the data with the dimension reduction okay the big data visualizations and a lot a lot of the other things and in the clustering let's say we have a recommender system okay like uh, buying a mobile along with the uh, the cover and other things like a targeted marketing okay like google and the facebook ads do and another one is the customer segmentation okay so these are the things in a machine learning supervised and supervised and the reinforcement learning in the next video i'll talk more about the supervised machine learning until then bye bye have a nice day